Welcome back. In this section, we will discuss about variables. What is a variable? Variable is a name given to a memory location. What is a memory location? This is the RAM memory layout. As we have discussed earlier, every process has a memory layout allocated. It looks like this. Now, the addresses are actual addresses, right, in RAM space. Now, it is going to be difficult for you to remember these names. Say you are going to store a value in this particular memory location. 0x ff 000002. It is going to be very difficult for you to remember this. Now, that's why we have variable names. Instead of 0x ff 000002, if at all you are naming it as i, it is very easy for you to remember it again. That's why we have variable names. Now there are some rules for defining variable names. For example, it must begin with a letter, which is alphabet, lowercase or uppercase. It can start with an underscore as well. Underscore is the only special character that is allowed. Both letters and numbers are allowed in a variable. Maximum length for ANSI standard is 31, but latest compilers allow longer names. It is case sensitive. That is, uppercase and lowercase characters are different. Hello, as all caps, is a different variable name than hello in all lowercase. Variable names cannot be keywords. C has 32 keywords, like for, while, break, main, all these are keywords. You cannot use a keyword as a variable name. White space is not allowed. Any other special character apart from underscore is not allowed. Variable names cannot begin with a number. So, one more rule. It is not a rule, but it's a good thing to follow. Right? Give meaningful variable names. Don't give names like XXX, WWW, KKK, RRR. These are not valid variable names. I mean, these are not meaningful variable names. Give names like, um, this is a name, this is a age, this is a salary. Give names like that so that easy to understand the purpose of a variable. I've given certain examples. The first one, hello, is a valid variable name. Hello123 is valid. Hello123 dollar is not valid because dollar is not an accepted variable symbol. Hello123 is valid because underscore is a valid character. 123 hello is not valid because a variable name cannot start with a number. At 123 is not allowed. At is not a valid character. 123 standing alone is not a valid variable name because variable names cannot begin with numbers. Now that's it about variables. Let's get on with the next topic of data types. That will give you more perspective into why these variable names are required.